In our discussion on dielectrics and capacitors, we said that by placing dielectrics into our capacitor, we're essentially increasing the capacitance. But why does this take place? We haven't answered why this takes place. So in this lecture, we're going to answer this question. We're going to examine what happens on the molecular level within our dielectric material that actually increases our capacitance. So let's suppose we have the following parallel plate capacitor. So we essentially take a parallel plate capacitor as shown. We use a battery to charge our capacitor and then we disconnect the battery from our electric circuit so that charge cannot leave our plates. So initially once our parallel plate capacitor is fully charged, we remove our battery and this plate will have a positive Q charge and this plate will have a negative Q charge. Now the electric field lines will begin on the positive plate and will end at the negative plate as shown by the following green vectors. So initially our electric field between these two plates is given by E0 and it is assumed to be constant. Now initially the quantity of charge on either one of these plates is equal to the product of the capacitance and our voltage where this not symbol simply means there's air present between these two plates. So this is the capacitance of our plate when there is air present and this is the voltage of our plate when there is air present. So. Now suppose we take a dielectric and instead, of, and instead of having air, we place a dielectric between our two plates as shown in the following diagram. So our dielectric essentially consists of different atoms and molecules. And within these atoms, we're going to have different densities of electrons, different densities of charge. Now because there is an electric field that exists between these two plates, when we take our dielectric and place it between our plates inside that electric field, our molecules and atoms within our dielectric will orient themselves along our electric field. So as a result of the electric field that exists between our two plates, the molecules within our dielectric material will orient orient themselves accordingly with our electric field. Now this orientation will create a net negative charge on the dielectric next to this positive plate and will create a net positive charge on the dielectric next to our negative plate. And that's shown in the following diagram. So we have a net negative side of the dielectric and a net positive side of our dielectric. Now the question we want to answer is the following. How will this orientation of the molecules within our dielectric material actually affect the electric field between our plates? So, some of the electric field lines that we described in this diagram that will begin on the positive plate do not actually end up on the negative plate, but rather will end up on the dielectric on this side as shown in the following diagram. So some of these electric field lines shown here that begin on the positive side will not extend all the way to this end, but rather will end up on this negative side of our dielectric. And because we have less electric field lines that end up on the negative plate, less electric field lines means our electric field will decrease. So when we take that dielectric and we place that dielectric into our capacitor as shown, the electric field will decrease because less electric field lines will end up on our opposite plate. 
Now, because the voltage between our two plates is equal to the product of the electric field uh, between the plates multiplied by the distance between our plates and because the distance remains constant, if the electric field decreases, the voltage will also decrease. So when we place that dielectric, not only will our electric field decrease, the voltage between the plates will also in, uh, decrease. Now because the quantity of charge that is stored on either one of the plates is equal to the product of the capacitance and the voltage, and because we disconnected our battery so our quantity of charge on either one of these plates remains constant, we see because our voltage decreases, the capacitance must increase to compensate for that loss in voltage so that our quantity of charge remains constant. Once again, since Q is equal to C times V and the Q is constant, the capacitance given by C must increase to compensate for that voltage decrease. So, once again, let's overview what actually takes place when we place a dielectric into our capacitor as shown. So, the dielectric is composed of many types of molecules and atoms that have different densities of charge. When we place that dielectric into our electric field, those molecules will orient themselves in such a way, creating a negative charge on this end and a net positive charge on the other end. As a result of that, our electric field lines will end up on this end and only some of those electric field lines will end up at the opposite end at the opposite plate. So we have a net less electric field lines ending up on this side and so that basically means because we have less electric field lines we have a smaller electric field. Now because the voltage is equal to E times D if we decrease our electric field we decrease our voltage and since we disconnected our battery our charge cannot leave these plates so the charge must remain constant. Because charge is equal to C multiplied by V and because our V decreases as a result of the decrease in electric field, our C must compensate for that decrease and the capacitance will increase. So we see our capacitance increases, the voltage decreases, and the electric field decreases when we place our dielectric between these two power plates of our capacitor.